Hello everyone, and here today I'm I'm going to show you a video about how to use an information about Mugen. Okay, first I want you to notice the Shars page or Chars, whatever you want to call it. It's fine by me. Right here, um, this file, as you can see, it's a regular file. It's called Shars, and I'm going to click on it. This pretty much is your your um, characters where you have all your characters that you download from such sites as Mugen Infantry, uh, Mugen Nation, but warning though, not to disclaim any of those websites, but whenever whenever downloading, you, you must be careful of um, must be careful of viruses. So every every once in a while scan for viruses for if you are downloading consistently. Just a basic um, computer tech guy will tell you. Okay, right here next we got data, which I'm going to click on. This is all your more in-depth stuff. This is your pretty much your mainframe, your your structure, your pretty much how to do stuff. I'm going to click on select. Select is your pretty much your character add-in and stuff like that. And I'm going to try to move it over for everybody, and right here, okay. Right here we have characters. How to add characters. Use the format, you add their name of the fo uh, in the folder of the shards that I just showed you. And then you, um, for zipped characters, which those are the characters that are, the, those are the ones you can use if you do not have the program WinRAR, which I will show you soon. But anyways, um, yeah, right, you scroll down and it talks about music right here, um, include stages, order, etc, etc. And pretty much here it says insert your characters below. You pretty much, for each line, you enter one character and then, the, and then you click out of it and save as after you're done, um, editing all your characters and you can do more than once at one time, but... The average person does one at a time, just to test it all out and see how everything goes. Scroll down here. Extra stages. These are the stages that will be available in versus and watch modes. I move that. Um, I move the thing over so you can see better. Pretty much here, you add your stages and then a slash and then you add the stage name and then dot d e f, and that's pretty much your um, dot D -E F is the required stage code. I, I do not personally remember at this moment, but that's what you need to add a, after every stage. Options. Here are your, um, your preferences. You can customize to your, to your, um, likings. Or your, um, personal preferences. You can just change that in game. You do not have to change it here just for common mis, mis, uh, conception. Or I said that wrong. Or mis, uh, common misconception. Can uh, what's the word? Sorry, everybody. I'm kind of failing. Misconception. Yeah, that's that's good enough. That's pretty much what it is. Yeah. Okay, and pretty much here is you got system, and this is pretty much your stuff about your info, errors, all that stuff. Which really you don't you don't need to know, but if you're gonna edit, you may need to know this. But that's more of advanced. Uh, it's more of advanced work. So I'm just talking about the basics here. So I might I might make a video just um, explaining the system. But yeah, pretty much I'm gonna back out here, and then I'm gonna go to. This is another file. Just uh, exclude the DBZ versus Bleach Mugen. That's just nothing. That's just another version of Mugen, which I'll show you later, hopefully. And then DCM. This is, um, I'm not quite sure it is empty, so yeah. The uh, doc, docs. Those are your documents. Pretty much talking about story mode, um, some files, Google Chrome files, all that stuff. It's not really relevant for just playing the game. It is for like uh, legal stuff and, and stuff. Just not really you gotta worry about. Font is pretty much your how the game like is like how it's set up and stuff. Your plugins is how it sounds. It just plugs in, you know. 
Your sound is where you keep all your music for adding to your um, version of Mugen that you download or get from a friend, and yeah, that's what you use to. Um, that's where you keep the files for that. Stages is where you keep the stages. Tools are pretty much just for extra stuff. Those are just for uh, just just if you really want to edit something and then you're good about. It. This is about No Limit Win Mugen. This is pretty much what Electroblight included into his Mugen. It's probably a record of what he's done, pretty much. So, yeah, this is just him describing what Win Mugen is. These are just stuff, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to give you a little history lesson about Win Mugen. Okay. Win's Mugen was... Um, Made in 2002 in a private MU test distributed strictly prohibited. So it was just a test back then. It had limited it only accepted two characters to be on a select screen at a time. It also had limitations for the number of stage is the people who received one Mugen beta had agreed never to talk about it. So it's pretty much a top secret weapon. Pretty much for Electrobyte. And he did ask for donation for the project to buy a software compiler. And then on April April 14, 2004, let's, let's keep reading. Whoop. Um, the Those who donated were emailed a secret link to a password protected website that contained a downloadable private beta version of WinMugen and the same Linux M M Mugen. So yeah, that's pretty much how it all began, pretty much. And let's scroll down here. This is pretty much the websites where you could have downloaded and etc. etc. And he pretty much quit for about a um, couple of years, and then he came back about 2010 or 2009. So that's like he left for for a while, but came back. Released a new copy of Win Mugen, which I am showing you here today. When Mugen, here comes all the fun part. I told you about all the boring stuff, all the necessities, but here's the program itself. You have arcade, versus mode, team arcade, team versus team co-op, survival, survival co-op, training, and watch. And options and exit. Those are your basic necessities you get with when Mugen. And for example, watch is where you can pick any of those characters on the screen right there and you can watch them fight it out in simultaneous or turns or single. Training is where you can pick two characters, you can pick a character yourself and then you can battle another character with without any of you taking damages and you can monitor the whole event going on. Let's go up to arcade. Arcade is pretty much like any other fighting game. You pretty much uh, pick one of the characters that you have in your um, possession, and then you just fight random characters the computer chooses to face against you. Versus mode is where, on a keyboard, it's pretty much 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 on the right side of your keyboard, on the which is pretty much the controls for that, which I'm not too familiar with, except for that... For on the main, the first player is, uh, is Q W A S Z uh, X. I mean, sorry. Um, yeah, uh, Q W A S Z X. Yeah. Oh, sorry, my S is sounded like an X to me. I don't. I don't know why. But yeah. And and this is how it should look like, pretty much. Is Mugen, which Electrobyte made in two thousand one. Okay. And that is the first version I will, I will be talking about. And I will make a, uh, actually, yeah, no, I'll make a second video for people for my third version since this is getting a bit long, so. Yeah, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Um, it must be here. Nope, wrong one. Uh, DBZ vs. Bleach Mugen. I downloaded this off of um, YouTube, which you can find it. Hopefully, in, on if you just type in DBZ vs. Bleach. And pretty much, this is... I'm not sure what kind of engine they're using, but... Here, if it'll load up. Hopefully, it'll load up. And this is all your basic stuff as well. It's just in a different font and custom-made Mugen. And pretty much here... 
they used a certain engine where if you have this kind, you press up and down to change the form of uh, the character. So yeah. So that was a brief um, introduction of what you needed to do. It's the same exact everything. So those rules apply for this version. I wanted to just show this so if anybody who downloaded this kind of version knows the same things I was talking about earlier apply to this. Well, I hope you enjoyed my how-to video. And if you want to see more videos like this and just for gaming in general, just... Uh, Please go look at my channel, uh, Afterlife Okami HD, and I hope you guys have a good day. Goodbye.